Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got the weapon currently equipped in my character's hands here. This is the objective rifle, and in parentheses, OICW, I don't know what even that stands for. But this is the objective rifle. This is a very cool assault rifle type weapon added to Fallout 4. I don't know if it's got any lore to it, really, right? Like, I don't know if there's like a, such a thing as an objective rifle in real life. This thing, though, is added to the leveled list, just so you know. Uh, it starts about level 1 for gunners in the 5mm type ammo type this one that i have here is 556 in its ammunition type um i don't know the i the oicw is the objective individual combat weapon it's apparently the real name of the gun it was the next generation service rifle competition that was under development as part of the united states army oicw program the program was eventually discontinued without bringing the weapon out of its prototype phase so yeah, it's like, it's a prototype weapon that never showed up. But you know, it's existing here in Fallout 4 now, right? That's cool. At least it did exist in real life, I guess, in some way. It's a cool looking gun. I mean, it's a pretty basic looking gun, you know. Wood stock, all the basic things. We obviously haven't done any attachments to it. Minus 5.56 five, does 64 damage. Um, we do have some stuff to do with the chemistry station here, but we're going to get to all this. Okay? Because we have an objective rifle section here. We have an ammo switch, the settings for the gun. Um... And then you have all these different ammo types. We'll get into all that a little bit later. But let's take a look at the gun. Right now we got a drum mag. That's just how I found it. But let's take a look to the, listen to the gun sounds here. I mean, it just sounds like a 5.56 rifle to me. Decent enough reload for that drum magazine. Got a nice reflex sight. But let's take a look at the customization we're going to do with the weapon. And then we'll get more into what we can do with the chemistry station a little bit later on in the video. So, we have different receivers here there is a burst fire mode which is an interesting thing i really do like that like you could do advanced reverse receiver powerful automatic or overpowered um obviously being semi-auto burst is kind of its own kind of unique thing there so we got all different kinds of barrels and attachments here actually doing different things right like different receivers really increase the damage here too overpowered receiver probably is the way to go to be fair but you know we'll get to that we'll do i'm gonna test out the burst right shit i mean okay um Advanced barrel, I guess. We'll just throw some shit on there. Uh, who, who, Kellogg or Sheffield? I mean, not Kellogg. Turrets, do your job. It's fucking goddamn shooting. Me. The burst fire is working though. Did we kill everybody already? Nope. There's one more left. You fucking bursted. The burst fire felt really good too. That was really rapid as shit. Um. Why have all the things in the middle of my fucking video am I getting jumped by fucking super mutants, man? I'm just putting that energy out there. Why? Why you do this to me, super mutants? Okay. But we got burst fire mode. That does sound like extremely quick on its burst action, too. You can practically make it full auto, but if you wanted to, you could... It might be my go-to mode. I love I love little burst fire guns. It's if they're good enough, right? Like, you really want to be able to kill something in one burst. We'll see how that well that functions a little bit later on in the video. There was obviously semi-auto and full auto receivers went over that. There's technically this marksman barrel here, um, which optimizes the range. This is like your long rifle type, um, full stock. Marksman stock is probably the best way to go. Recoil compensating stock, maybe even better. Collapse version of that. It is like slightly worse. There's a grenade launcher. Reduces reload speed, replaces secondary with a grenade launcher alt fire. Uses heavy gun or equipped grenades, can work in first person. Yeah, so I think we need the grenade module here. We're gonna get to that in a little bit here. Um, it shoots, can shoot 44 rounds, 5.56 five, rounds, 5 millimeter rounds, and all of these have small, medium, large mags, or a drum mag, and then quick eject versions of all of those, which is a lot of different variety here. So obviously, maximizing damage, we want a quick eject drum mag 44 caliber. We got pin sights, all different kinds of sights, ring sights, glow pin sights, glow ring sights, laser sights, hollow sights, short, long, reflex sight, and both short and long combat sights, standard scope. In terms of 4, 6, and 10 times, 14 times night vision in 4, 6, and 10, and 14 recon scopes in 4, 6, 10, and 14. And a compensator. Or suppressor. Or heavy compensator, heavy muzzle brake, but no heavy suppressor. Because the heavy compensators don't, well, they're not supposed to, I think, reduce range. Um, you can put a suppressor on there. We'll try that. Um, we can equip a grenade here. Um, so we're going we're gonna to throw this out here. Just like a regular high explosive grenade. Okay, that's cool. We'll put that on there for now. So let's take a look at this gun. So this is got the pin sights on. It's got a grenade module on. This thing looks huge in its stock. So what this does is in first person, we could shoot an underbarrel grenade launcher if I do it right. Yeah. You see that? So you can, without having to switch anything, you can shoot a grenade. Now this doesn't work in third person. 
Oh, what am I? Th what is my third person? It doesn't even let me go to third person. It's doing some weird stuff, baby. Like this, that's the thing. Like so, this this is only a first person type of feature, but it's very cool to have the ability to just. It's freezing. That's uh, I have a different grenade in here. I don't know what the grenade it put in there. Uh, it's it's kind of because I ran out of grenades. It did some weird things. Let's just shoot the gun regular style. And burst fire, burst fire, forty-four. It's a little bit recoily for sure. Now that is a little bit weird, and obviously some of you are gonna want to play in third person at all and not have your third person camera. Like I'm, I'm going to third person camera, and it's automatically cutting back. It's a cool feature, but there's another way to access this underbarrel grenade launcher without all this crazy stock nonsense, right? So I do have some other grenades. Um. Ignores line of sight with the anti tanker grenade. That's kind of crazy. Um, can I just can I put a regular stock on there? Like ripple compensating stock, for example. That's totally fine. Um, we'll put like ring sights on there just to give you a different look on that too, though. So can, is there no under? There's supposed to be like an under or like a switch, right? To switch to the grenades, right? I think I have the switch in my inventory. We can test all these things out. So this is our ring sights. I think this is really nice. This is your classic um, Fallout Three assault rifle sight. It's not maybe the best sights, but it's good. I mean, it's good ring sights, it's glows. I can keep on target here, it depends on your, you know, recoil, this 44 bullets do kick up, but not that much. I mean, in burst fire, we can kind of spam it out. Now, I do have a switch that I have crafted, right? In my, it should be an aid, right? Which is probably, so you can, you know, favorite it, and then, you know, click, click it real quick. So let's see, where is it at? Probably went by it while I wasn't paying attention. Um, Settings is the this is the thing. So I use that. Um, let's see here. I, I mean, I used it. The ammo switch. So like, if I put that on here, does that switch the ammo? Not on this particular thing. I gotta kind of figure this out because I don't like. I could go in third person now just to make sure that like the gun does work in third person normally. It does, right? But like when I put that grenade module on, is that the only way to fire grenades on the rifle? It is cool that it can shoot grenades. It's very cool, right? I promise. The laser sight is also gonna be cool too. Um, how do we make it have just a regular grenade launcher on there though? I'll have to look into this a little bit. So you know, we could do other different types of barrels here. I mean, like they're all just kind of worse. They look cool, like a commando barrel. I bet looks really cool, right? Like different kind of things. A little short barrel. You could do different stuff, right? Like a carbine barrel, all that. Um, but they are just better range, uh, advanced and marksman, right? And marksman being the best. Advanced is kind of like a cool compromise in the in-between, I guess. Um, I'd really probably like the full stock, though, right? Like, just a big, fat wood stock. I love myself some wood grain on my weapons. We will put the weapon at automatic again, so we can show that off. And we'll show off, I mean, we'll show off the laser sight and stuff, too. We don't need to be suppressed. It's not necessary. It's just there's no way to actually put on, like, a grenade launcher other than the stock, right? Like... Crip grenades only work in first person. Reduces reload speed, all the things. I get that. I get that it would reduce other reload speed. This is a nice looking weapon here. The laser sight, you just kind of put the dot on the man. Nice. I mean, it's got a nice chunky, slow, full auto rate of fire. I do like the look of this particular, like, I like the stock look. I like just, I just look, you know, sometimes I do pick things based off of how they look. So, um,. I don't know why the ammo switch. So, like, we can craft grenades and all this stuff here, too. So, this is, like, an interesting system. So, these high-explosive grenades, you craft. You get four of these at a time. You can technically spam that out. Get a bunch of high-explosives or anti-tank grenades, whatever, right? We can spam this out. There's cryonade, pulse grenades. But you can also scrap them. So, you can scrap some of those. And then you can use those scrap grenades to craft different grenades, I think. So, you can change the ammo that way, right? But we do need the scrap or perk to craft them that way. So... I don't have the scrap of perk, so it's not... <laughs> I can scrap them for no reason. Just make sure you don't accidentally click scrap. You can just craft them yourself. Just make sure you craft the grenades you want. The micro nukes, the plasma grenades, all the cool stuff. Now, the settings tape, hollow tape. We'll see if we can load some settings up here and see what this looks like. It's probably going to be like way down here. I have three versions of this hollow tape. I've crafted this three times. It's fine. It, it works itself out. This is how much I forget things. Okay, so change grenade launcher mode. The stable mode. So... That's what we want. The experimental mode is the one that shoots like that. So, like, adjust grenade spawn, disable grenade spawn. So, we like, spawning on other enemies and stuff. Disable weapon spawn. Force first person mode. I don't want to do that either. Um, so, our grenade launcher should now switch to the grenade launcher. It does not. Like, so maybe maybe now it does if we, if we go in here and put the grenade launcher attachment on. I, I think it's interesting. 
that the grenade launcher is a stock and not like an underbarrel module. But that I guess it makes sense. Look, it's like loaded up in there. Maybe that was the whole point of the prototype of the rifle. It's kind of nuts, though. Um, we'll put a different sight on here, too. We have shown off the laser sight. We've shown off the different hollow sights. Let's put a reflex sight on here, like a long reflex. What does that look like, even? So we got a long reflex sight. Like it zooms more, or is that what the deal is? A lot of way to fire. So now if we hit the switch, we switch to a grenade launcher mode. We can pick what grenade we want. So if we want those micro nukes, so that reloads the weapon in a different way. And we shoot micro nukes. I mean, it's, it's semi-auto, too. You can spam that out. You get six shots. Now, obviously, you reload that front mag there. Obviously, there's a magazine in the back here in the stock that you're technically loading it up into. but Because that's the whole point of the, the reason of having it the stock is that the... The grenade launcher, you can see, has a, has like a stock of grenades. I, I don't know how the grenades are fitting in there. But the stock has grenades in there, right? 25 millimeter grenades. I guess they're not that big. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a very cool kind of futuristic prototype weapon. I do like the look of it a lot. And I do like this grenade launcher ability. Now, I do like being able to play in third person. So if you do too, you're going to have to like do the switch way mode. So you're going to like, you know, toggle the switch. I want anti-tank grenades on. You would load that up. It does, you know, get a little bit weird on that. But then you just shoot it like a regular gun. You press the right trigger, it fires your grenades. You could do this, and then you could go no grenade, and you switch back to bullets mode. That does take some time, but you could go... You could do that, right? Like, you could obviously still do that. A lot of other weapon mods have... Not a lot, but some other weapon mods have some grenade toggle switches for underbarrel type grenade launchers. This is an interesting design anyway, because it's, like in the stock and it does become very bulky because of that like it is a very bulky looking gun that way um let's mess around with some more stuff we do need the grenade launcher module on there i think so what's the short reflex that look like and then let's see let's put the um marks and barrel on there sure and then we'll put it at semi-auto if you wanted to do that overpowered receiver i mean it's literally overpowered maximum damage this is it's just a different looking reflex i thought it still shoots really slow. It's, chunk it's a chunky boy. I do think the burst fire mode would be my preference on way to go, but I'd have to test it out in some combat. Obviously, I have to test the grenades out in combat, too. It's an interesting system, right? So, like, and obviously you could suppress it or, or not or whatever. You could pick the grenade here, right? Like, this is a, if I equipped, like, the micro nuke grenade here, and I, like, leave the, the station, it, it is equipped. We could, And then we're just shooting, like I said, with the right trigger. I right, shot a little too far. And then you reload it. How you do and then you could technically hit this ammo switch go to no grenade and then you're reloading the gun even though technically you shouldn't have to reload the gun that's the whole idea so like obviously we can go back in here into my settings and um change this back to experimental mode if we're okay with the fact that we're only going to be in first person so now if i shoot the grenade launcher it's not shooting the grenade launcher right now um the animations look nice too. Um, I wonder why it's not shooting. Again. I have to like maybe set it up. I have to like equip it in here again. But then you can't. Hmm. I'm like thinking about it. I want to put the burst receiver on. That's how we're gonna test it out. This is an really interesting weapon. It's got a lot of really cool features on it. I think this grenade module is kind of like an interesting concept and idea. Um, you might actually even want to put a smaller mag on there for certain, like, cause like improve reload speed. I mean, this is a fast reload speed too. But like, put that one on there for now, just to see. I just want to see something. Okay. And let's put like a combat set on there just to see what that looks like too. So if I put a grenade on here, like the anti-tank grenade, right? So that's on there. 21 round mag. It doesn't go in third person, right? Like I showed off. This is our combat site. First fire. But now I should be able to shoot grenades, right? Yeah. If you hold down right bumper on controller, right? Or whatever your grenade key is, you can shoot it like a grenade. It replaces your grenade slot with the grenades from this. So then you can't reload it, which is the thing too. You just kind of have as many grenades as you have, right? I think. Or if I shoot these three more grenades, what does it do? Like, it breaks, right? Like, it does some weird shit. These are our anti-tank grenades. And then we're we're technically shooting grenades. And it's trying to reload something. But there's nothing there, right? So if I hit this ammo switch, does it switch? Can I switch to, like, anti-tank again? That's how you'd have to do it. And then it reloads six more. That's kind of... A, it's, it's, it's not perfect by any means, right? For sure. I'm not going to try to argue with you that this is, like, optimal by any means. But having a... A gun that has burst fire, which is still a rarity here in, in Fallout 4 as a thing. I'm not a big fan of the combat site. I mean, you could do big, long-ass scopes. 14 times scope is kind of insane. Um, 14 times scope on here? Um, that's a, that's an insane scope, right? Like, you're just... Like, I'm looking at the water tower. Look, I could literally see it, the lettering on it. I mean, I can see the lettering on it, I guess, from far away, but I'm, like, reading it. Like, it's, like, all I can see. You can see the star. That's that's how far that is away. Can you really see the star? Like barely, just barely see it. Now you're like in it. Um, 
But yeah, I can still switch the ammo types with this particular version on. So I got a pulse, it reloads it. But instead of having to, instead I can shoot the gun like a gun, and I can also shoot that like that. Like it's a, it's a, I can shoot grenades and I can go right from burst to grenade in one shot. But now I have to realize that I'm out of grenades and I have to switch it manually and it's going to reload it. And then I've, I've done that. That's kind of a weird, it's a weird thing for sure. Um, this is such a long scope. It's such a crazy ass fucking gun. Um, it's a cool gun though. It's got some really cool features to it to like be able to shoot. I don't know where that went. To be able to shoot a nade and they're like, oh, he didn't die. And then you finish him off with some burst or whatever. Or shoot some burst. Realize a big posse of people is coming. Shoot a grenade out of your gun instead of throw a grenade. And it's kind of like, it's... You, and you can do it the other way too, the, if you want to play in third person. Because obviously this doesn't work at all. This is forcing first person. Right? Like, this is... I, You know. Because it doesn't work in third person. At all. Um, is that in the settings? Is that setting turned on already? Let's take a look at this here. Like, there's some definitely some stuff here with this mod that is interesting. Force first person mode. Is this on? Don't force first person. Yeah, so like, if I don't force first person here, I can go to third person. And then if I shoot the grenade, it shoots it like I'm throwing it. Does that make sense? You see that? Like, it doesn't quite work the same. I can shoot the gun, and I can throw the grenades, but technically throwing them out of the gun. It just doesn't throw them out of the gun. So first person is the way to go if you want to use it this particular way. But I understand, this is a weird, like, kind of crazy feature that, like, you know, it's it's tough to, to implement. Like I said, you can, you can craft those other grenades. So you got all these grenades you can craft, all these 25 millimeter grenades. Like so many different grenades to craft for every different type of situation, right? So you want an anti-tank, you make four of them at a time. So, you know, spam this out. Cryo nades if you want to do that kind of nut. So stuff that needs science. Anti-tank just needs gun nut. EM pulse needs science, obviously, if you wanted to kill robots. I'm just going to craft a bunch of these high explosive is gun nut. And some decent materials, right? Adhesive, aluminum, fertilizer, oil, all this stuff. We have these micro nuke grenades down here, which require a gun nut of four. Um, not many nukes, micro nukes, so even smaller, right? And then plasma, if you wanted to, with even high rank of science. These are like the, the end all be all nades. And you can switch between these on the fly. I'm leveling up for free, practically, because I'm just here. Um, just spamming the crafting grenade. But yeah, so you have essentially what is a very cool, very functional, very customizable assault rifle. That if you're if you're cool with playing a first person, you can shoot grenades and then shoot first. Shoot a grenade, shoot first. Like you could do both at the same time, which is a very cool feature. That is that is very cool. I've not seen a gun do that here in Fallout 4, and I've covered a lot of mods in my time. Um, I'm gonna switch some things. I mean, like this is kind of like look at the short barrel. Like kind of kind of all blends into it here. Um, look at what the advanced barrel. I just like the look of that more. The grenade module is a thing. We want to put that on top there. I do think I'm gonna go with the. The drum mag, though, obviously the best way to go there. We'll just put like the the short hollow sights on there, maybe. I think that'd be good. I mean, we don't really need a suppressor. We're not gonna be sneaking around. But obviously with the micro grenade, micro nuke grenade equipped right now. But you can switch that with the switch still too. And that's how you work it with the the way. That, so like, I want to go anti tank. We hit a reload. Now we have anti tank grenades in here. We can go tunk, and then also burst fire. It's a cool gun. We're gonna go test it out in some combat though. I will see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody, here we are with the Raiders at Thicker Excavation. One thing we lose out on is we're not going to be able to shoot the grenades and vats in this particular mode. Um, but we can just absolutely kill that guy, right? Like, this is, I mean, the Raiders here. Not quite one bursting that guy. But the combination of, like, instantaneously going grenade mode. Like, there's somebody up in there, right? They're dead. The grenades here are really good as well, too, right? Like, obviously, that's a big factor to it. There's a dog there. Got some vats accuracy. The dog doesn't need, you know, I don't need to use a grenade for the dog. If you had a suppressor on this, I'd be able to sneak around a little bit better, too, even. Um, there's a guy there. You're kind of out in the open, too easy. We could switch the grenades, so I want to, I don't even know what I currently have on now. Let's switch the plasma. I'm getting shot at now, though. Can we stop the cap? There's somebody way over there. Get plasma grenaded. I mean, the grenade launcher part is just a great part of the gun, too. I missed. Just shoot some bursts over there. A little too long range for vats. But I could be like this and I could pop the crit, right? Absolutely blow that dude's head off. Be like, oh shit, you guys are way over there. That's get in there. So we ran out of grenades. Reminder, you have to now switch. And even if we wanted to do plasma again, we could do that, but we could switch to micro nuke here, because this guy coming. I hit the I didn't hold the button enough. There we go, you're gonna get nuked. 
Right, this is a really cool combination gun, though. I really do like the, this combination. I know it's experimental, and it only works in first person, and it's kind of weird. But, I mean, it doesn't, you could have a full auto burst, semi-auto gun. Right, I'm, like, sitting here firing burst at man as they're trying to run up. But I see them there, and then I nuke them at long range here, right? Like, there's a guy a little closer here getting that good VATS accuracy. He's just shoot it like a gun. Right, we can switch it back, too. We could go, you could go in that settings. You could be like, I don't really like this mode. You could go to this, and then you could change it on the fly to stable mode. So now we can use it in third person. We switch the grenades. So we switch to those micro nuke grenades. We load that up. It's a little bit buggy. Do we not have any more? Oh shit, that, see now we're just swinging the gun because we don't have any grenades equipped. We're just gonna have to hit right trigger. I hit the wrong thing, that's fine though. Raiders, can we not? You're down in there somewhere? I mean, I didn't quite hit you, but. Oh shit, somebody on me, see? And then I killed myself because I couldn't switch between the things on the fly, right? The micro new grenades, this fucking, it's a big dick. It's a big dick energy, man. It's fucking killing the shit out of things. Um. So you can, you can do the experimental mode. I, I like that as a feature. Like, I think we're on the experimental mode here. Yeah. This is, this is the way. Okay? Like, really, let me, like, customize the gun. We're gonna go try that one more time. But we're gonna do it a little bit differently here. So, like, I think you probably want, like, a four time scope. That's probably a good amount. We want that suppressor on there so we can take sneak shots if we need to. Um, drum mag is fine. You probably, I mean, you probably don't actually need bursts. It's overpowered receiver is the way to go here. Um, and then you could, you know, whatever grenade you want. So we're gonna go back there, right here to thicker estimations. We'll just kind of like let you guys see the load screen this time. But yeah, the experimental mode is the cool feature. Like having an underbarrel grenade launcher. I've seen other guns do that and stuff. Though so this this particular mode here, where we load up in here, there's a man in here. We can kind of hold it. Oh, am I not? Do I not have the grenades? Anti tank grenades. Just load them shits up, please. The animation skip that I did. So the anti-tank ones are cool too because that's a really nice looking short scope reticle too. Um, switch to just give me the anti-tanks. Where did they go? Anti-tanks. There we go. Let's load that up. So we have not only an ability to shoot like sneaky shots like this. That guy got shot, right? Semi-auto sneak shots. But if a guy is in our way like this, we can just go grenade. You're dead. These anti-tank grenades pierce cover too, so if I can vaguely hit that, it doesn't matter. Long range grenades, hey that dog's coming, shoot the dog, right? Somebody's down there. I should vaguely shoot the grenade down there. Let's try not to blow myself up this time. Let's go to let's go to those mini nukes though, or micro nukes I guess in this case. You get blown up. But you can still take these long range shots too, I can aim down sights. I could take, can I throw a grenade like that? I could be like, cut one up and then, boom. Just blew a bunch of people up over there. You need to get manually shot, right? Or you could use VATS, I could use VATS to shoot bullets. That does trade off the VATS to shoot the grenade. So we could show that off again, without blowing myself up this time. Um, and technically you could switch between these modes on the fly, but that's that's a lot, that's asking a lot, I think. Um, but to go all the way in here, go to stable mode. Okay, so we're in stable mode, which means we're at a gun. This is a gun, right? So we go in here, we switch to Micro nukes. Now that loads them up into the gun. Now this is gun. So now when I aim this in VATS, I have, you know, really low accuracy, but this is going to hit like a grenade. I could use that to get the VATS critical so I can aim at VATS on this guy. I don't know why the VATS accuracy is doing weird things. Um, that was really weird. See, like, I, it's, I don't know about this. Like, I, you, obviously you can shoot grenades and you can spam them too, like I showed off, right? Like, it is, it's a semi-auto grenade launcher, right? Um, what we're going to do here, I think that I like the experimental mode. It's weird. It's weird, obviously, and forcing first person is not going to be good um, for everybody, right? It just isn't because some people like to play third person, but I like to play first person anyway, so I would be very much in the in the experimental mode. Now I'm going to equip the grenade. Let's just put cryonades on there just to do something different. So we loaded that all up. We got gun. Shoot gun, right? Gun go shooty shoot if I want to. Dog is going to get shot. I mean, maybe. 50-50 chances on that each one of these shots. The dog made it, man. You get knocked down. Try to get back up again. But we could like spam grenades way over there, right? Like, I got a con you can't really spam. I guess you can. In this way, you can't really spam them because you can't right trigger. You have to like hold it for a second. But I did get that guy. Cryo froze your ass, bitch. Just shoot them down there, big. <laughs> I don't even know where they're at. 
Um, but we can, you can switch between the grenades on the fly. So we still got ammo in our gun, but we'll switch to like the anti-tank ones. I do like those ones the most because they pierce through cover. Yeah, you see me? Good. Some of our shots. The guy was real low. Something way down there. Way down there. Somewhere. I just see the traces of their bullets, but they're still dying. But you do have to worry about when you when you hit every shot. Switch back to anti-tank. Got to reload more of those anti-tanks in there. Guns reloaded as well. There's a Meyer lurk way down there. I mean, that's that's taking a lot of shots. I mean, we are hitting it in the shell, though. And some of these shots are hitting the edge of the wall for some reason. But... You can also shoot a grenade down there. You were having fun. I mean, I'll kill you all. This is a very great gun. It's got a very interesting feature set. And it's, it's not... I wouldn't say it's complicated necessarily, but it's not. It does, you do have to like, you know, work to understand it. This is, if I hit that there. I'm not really playing games. You're playing games with me by not poking your head out and dying right away. That's all I have to say about that. Somewhere down here? Nope, not right there anyway. Like just like spam, you spam grenades, spam shots, right? Like you can, you can work that. I like this, I like that a lot. You're right there. Well, now you're dead. You're right there somewhere, now you're dead. You're right in there, hiding? Dead. This anti-tank grenade is blowing up through cover is, is the shit. Okay, it is very good. Just kind of carefully fall down in here. But yeah, so with the, you know, objective rifle here, which is based off of a real-life gun that was a prototype, and apparently this prototype is crazy because it allows you to shoot grenades as well as, sh like, shoot the gun. As long as you're willing to stay in first person. But you can you could do both regardless. And I think even just the gun is a pretty cool gun because it has, you know, every different type of magazine attachment. So three different ammo types from 5mm to 5.56 to 44 with really nice-looking sights like this 4x scope here or you can do that 14 times scope all in night vision or in recon variants. You got really cool stock options. You know, everything that you would need for that. Everything you need for barrel options. The animations are nice. The sounds are fine, I suppose. Like, there's nothing particularly nice about the songs. The model looks nice, so it doesn't look super fancy, but obviously we're worried about file size with all these things. It's a cool thing. It is it is an interesting gun. Right? Very cool looking gun, though. You guys let me know what you think of the objective rifle down in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure you check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda.net page or the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. I really appreciate that. It lets me know that you appreciate the videos that I make. And I do, you know, so take some time to make them. So being appreciated feels good. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever time may be. And I will see you in the next episode.